No. 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 Wait. Yes. Gary. I hope this email's from Gary. Uh, oh. Dear Strongman, I attended a slumber party and there was nothing but a lame game of Uno. I ask you, what types of slumber parties should one attend or ignore? Sincerely, Thomas O. from NY. So it was just you and Uno? Like, no other people or sleeping bags or R-rated movies? Uh, you probably should have skipped that one. Family card games are notorious for hosting the worst slumber parties. Thanks for inviting me, Skip Bo. But let's say you get invited to a slumber party by a carbon-based life form. The first thing you want to look at is the popularity of the host. According to Cool Guy's Law, the popularity of the host is inversely proportional to the amount of fun you can have at their house. You got nothing to lose. You can tear that place apart and dislocate all the younger siblings' shoulders you want. It's not like you're ever going back there again. What'd you say the name of this family card game was again, Strong Man? This is called Find the Loadbearer. You never played this before? Nope. Find the Loadbearer, Bed Axe. I never heard of any of these games we're playing. <coughs> Unpopular kids' dads definitely still play video games. So try and locate his stash of rated M for mature titles. Whoa, jackpot! Blood Bleeder, Head Chopper 2, Scab Wars, Blistergeist? Most of these things have been taken off the market. Oh, those are off limits. We're only allowed to play Clapping Party. <laughs> The next thing to consider when going to a slumber party is the menu. Typical slumber party fare includes things like six-foot party sub, an exorbitant amount of pizza, and at least enough Skittles and red cream soda to make your spit hurt. But if you get over there and they're like having a meal at a table, and they're serving like chicken in a pan with some salad and a glass of milk to drink. You better start running, because that family must have some serious health problems. But if you're looking for a guaranteed good time, you need to get invited to an older kid's slumber party. Anything goes at those things. My cousin Lewis, he's dead. My cousin And Harold, my back still hurts. Dead. And my knees still right. hurts. Right. Government ain't right. So my escrow carried over into my lumbago. But then my sciatic started acting up. Uh, can you guys start using some words that were invented after the year 1900? Come now, young whippersnapper. My fellows and I were just about to start playing at games of chance. Let me guess. That doesn't include bed acts. Uh, you might want to put a cap on what you define as older kids. Other than that... You can always look forward to endlessly ridiculing the kid that got picked up early because he misses his mom. Strong said used to do that when we'd have slumber parties in our own basement. That only happened once. Uh-huh. A week. Keep going. For ten years. There you go. Oh, and one more thing. If your gym jams happen to be, uh, oh, I don't know, long v-neck undershirt with a pair of questionable tidy whities underneath, Maybe don't wear those to the slumber party. Don't ask me how I know this. Please. Please. Don't ask me how I know this. How do you know that? Oh, that's it. Allow me to relieve you of that located shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Face print. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna need one of those little shimmy cloths.